Konnichiwa, guys. The last blog was a little uh, 90s, so I thought I'd try my hand at the video blogging thing. It is a beautiful day here in Tokyo. It's probably about 55, 60 degrees outside right now. I'm pretty excited to go out and explore some of the town with the, the weather being the way that it is right now. Um, anyways, updating. Last weekend was pretty amazing. Uh, Friday night I went out with school people for yakitori, which is like little Japanese skewered barbecue sticks, and uh, they were great. We had a few drinks, and the night ended up pretty long. I uh, slept on the vice principal's couch. So we played a, a few drinking games, and uh, I got to chat up some people that work in the school that I don't normally interact with, so they're a pretty good group of people. I also went to Harajuku and wandered around for a little while. This is a one of the big shopping districts where you can go and see people dressed up in all the, the crazier costumes that Tokyo has to offer. I didn't see anybody too out of the ordinary when I went. It was mostly uh, mostly a bunch of punk rockers, stuff like that, but I did see a couple of girls that were twins that were dressed up as circus clowns, um, some tutus, nothing too crazy, no weird anime girls or you know characters from comic books or anything like that, no Spider-Man. I wandered around there for a while trying to find um, a museum that uh, is dedicated to the Edo era woodblock prints art. It's beautiful art. It uh, originated as adverts and, and posters and stuff. It was really just throwaway. And uh, the guy that founded this museum did so because all the best galleries for this kind of art were located overseas. And, and he was kind of embarrassed that Japan originated this kind of art and didn't, uh, didn't have a corner in the market, so to speak, didn't have a museum dedicated to it. So he founded one and set it up so people could come and see it in its home country. And in that same district, I also found the gate to the biggest shrine in Tokyo. It's called uh, Meiji Jingu. Wandered around there for the rest of the day. It's a really, really beautiful area. There's a big park that I didn't make it into that I'm going to need to check out. Um, also tried some squid ink pizza. So there was that. The next day I went to the National Museum of Nature and Science. It was divided into two wings, and the first one was Japanese-specific. It had a lot of native flora and fauna found on the islands here, and a huge collection of old tools dedicated to charting the stars. Um, there were some old anatomy books there based on uh, human anatomy when the Japanese first started looking into Western-style medicine. There was a big collection of human skeletons that they found all over the islands. It was a an impressive wing. The other wing was all about natural sciences from the rest of the world. The very bottom floor was an awesome exhibition on evolution and uh, it started with the earliest life forms we discovered and went all the way through us. The next floor had some dinosaurs on it and I loved it. Um, it was it was great. They had uh, some of the most modern representations of feathered dinosaurs I've ever seen. It's pretty uh, pretty cool. And it went on up through uh, through the ages, there was one floor dedicated to uh, plants and animals from the island. Pop, I got a bunch of pictures of uh, deer and pigs from the island, um, skeletons that they had, how they've changed throughout time. I'm um, pretty stoked to show you those when I get home. Um, some of the mammal skeletons in the, the next wing up or the next floor up were uh, as big as the dinosaurs. It was pretty crazy um, being so far away from home and seeing such huge animals and, and seeing how much life has lived on this planet and, and been here, it makes me feel kind of tiny. Um, the very last part of the museum was a, a kid's floor where the kids could play with, you know, aiming lights, aiming different colors of lights and making them white and they could pull themselves up on pulleys and stuff like that, wind to suspend beach balls and stuff like that, it was a lot of fun. Um, one thing that's great about the museums here is they're super cheap, they're 600 yen to get in which is like 750 and uh, so it makes for day excursions, I can do a lot of them because it's not too expensive, so that part of it is great. Um, next week I'm heading back to the same district because there's a, a national museum that's not a science and museum, it's more of an art museum that's going to have some of the Edo stuff that I mentioned previously, and um, there's a zoo down there that I'm pretty excited to see too, so I will report back into all of you once this has been completed.